Hey Soul Family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we are doing your higher self's guidance on this next coming chapter in your life. And to do this reading, we are going to be picking uh, between two, four piles together. Whoa. So we'll be pick, picking from tarot today. Rider Waite Smith. I see. Oh, four. Okay. <laughs> so I guess our huge four piles are ready. Let's find out what they are. Four. Pile number one. We have the Ace of Swords. For pile number two, we have the death card. For pile number three, we have the tower card. And for pile number four, we have the six of cups card. Now, um, if you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, we have the uh, appetite point, and this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, we have the lepidolite point, and this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number three, we have the sodalite point, and this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number four, we have the ruby and zyocyte, and this is what your crystal looks like. Ruby and zyocyte point, of course. So, big energies today. Take a look <clears throat> at which one of these four piles or four crystals you're the most drawn to. And that is probably the pile for you here today in today's reading. Now, as I always mention, if, you're, if you kind of feel drawn to more than several piles, or maybe you're just drawn to one and you know that this is your pile, or perhaps today's the day where you're kind of drawn to all of them. Or sometimes you're drawn to several, but you know your order. Always trust your intuition. Your intuition is your magic. And it will always guide you to the right reading. So trust it. Let it flow. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and... I'll see you in your readings. Hey, soul family, welcome to the card a selection and preparation process. It is always lovely to have you around. I love sharing your energies during that time and I also believe it's very important for you to be part of this process to watch uh, your uh, um, piles being prepared and to share that energy as we prepare them before we begin let me introduce the cards to you on the left are the oracle decks that we will be using for this reading and on the right are the tarot decks so let's begin our uh, process very excited for today's reading and believe me i was drawn to this big deck and i was drawn to these huge points and i felt if well if i'm drawn to these big energies you know big big there is a message that there is a uh, big big messages coming up i guess right so cannot wait to tap into these energies for you today and to find out your guidance from your higher selves on this coming chapter in your life okay so i guess the first card is ready one two three and 
before. I have this passion, huge passion in helping you guys out to always find a video that I know will speak to you, will change something in your day or change something in your life is the fuel that keeps me going, real fuel. So I do hope this video helps you out today and uh, helps you with guidance in, in the next part of your life, on the next, in the coming chapter of your life. All right, so three and four. All right. Let's pick up the next deck. And ask with intention your higher self's guidance on this next coming chapter in your life. What is it, please? Or what are they? One, two. Three and four. Right, this feels right. Okay, moving on to the next deck. One. Two, three, and four. All right, so our oracle cards are now ready. Let's get into our tarot decks. Right, again, let's shuffle with intention. <clears throat> One. Two, three, and four. Okay. Let's pick up your next tarot deck. Oh, we didn't take out two cards. We just took out one. Right, let me bring it back. And again, shuffle with intention. What is your higher self's guidance on this next coming chapter in your life? Two, 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 and two. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> One, 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 and one. Two, two, two. No, this one, and two. Okay. going to be picking up our last tarot deck for this reading.
one, 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 and this one, and one. Wonderful. So our four piles are ready. Let's now put them neatly. I'm going to leave these as they are. They're huge. <laughs> and perhaps maybe just create space so that we can pull out the cards without disturbing uh, the rest of the piles this way. And all I'm going to do is put the cards up on top of the big card. I believe that's the only way <laughs> we can do this today so that we can pull out the main card like a tray once the reading begins right so we have the blue uh, appetite okay next right We have the Lapido light. Next. We have, oops, let me adjust that a little bit. There we go. We have the Soda light. the six of cups oh so these are three major no 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 no. i wonder why it doesn't have oh i guess the aces are treated the same way right i haven't seen them in a long time <laughs> okay so let's put in the ruby and zyocyte didn't notice that Right, I believe they're taking a lot of reading space. Let me adjust that. Right, let's keep them here, just like the rest. How far can we go? Ah, works out fine. There we go. <laughs> we succeeded. It was so lovely having your energies around. Love uh, having you as part of this preparation process. Believe me, I always feel your energies. You are beautiful, wonderful souls. Thank you for being here. Love you to the moon and back. Have so much appreciation for you. And let's get into your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. We're taking a look at your higher self's guidance on the next coming chapter in your life. Huge cards, <laughs> huge energies in today's reading. So obviously you have picked the Ace of Swords. Let's see why you were drawn to this card today, as well, of course, as the Blue Appetite point. Let's keep it right there. And let's see what's there nothing okay uh and let's take a look at your cards you have the gibbous waxing air moon with promotion oh this is a promotion interesting you know how um the knights are promoted with the sword of course 
let's keep this here. You are, you have, uh, sorry, purification. A lot of yellows in your reading. Oh, let me light your candle. Okay. Or rather, of course, knighted with a, with a sword. Okay. Oh, you have befriend pleasure. You have a beautiful peacock up top. Uh, a door opening to something large with a promotion here. It's, it's like a, a very luxurious position or a very powerful position of some sort. With, uh, with the sunflower and this peacock right in conjunction with each other, this seems to be uh, some sort of promotion where all eyes on you are like, something prestigious where people are like wow who is this person or wow what are they getting so the next chapter of your life pile number one does seem to be something big uh, in the earthly realm something considered really big you have the buffalo on you are however a very spiritual hard-working person both with a buffalo and you're quite humble <laughs> so you're getting something huge and you're doing the effort and you're humble or that your higher self is giving you an advice with this card we'll find out as we take a look at the rest of your cards pile number one but do know that something humongous is coming up for you Wow, uh, something where all eyes are going to be at you, towards you. Pound number one. Right. You, wow, <laughs> you have the Ten of Cups beginning your reading. Everyone congratulating you. Everyone is excited for you, for this new position that you're taking. You have a lot of people around you that will be happy for that. Uh, with that. This is so lovely, pile number one. Everyone taking a peek, everyone feeling that you, you have something amazing. Whoa, didn't I tell you? You have the Queen of Wands, popularity, uh, you, sh you, you shining everywhere, you being the center of attention. You have the Ten of Wands with Ten of Inspiration. Oops. Okay. You have the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. You have the Lover's Card and what a beautiful Lover's Card. Yeah. It's like everyone is in love with you. You are in love with yourself. Most importantly, you are in love with your new world to an extent where you can't believe it. It almost feels like a fairy tale, but you're now being in touch with that fairy tale story. Something big is happening in your life, pile number one. A new, a new uh, uh, royal type of beginning. What is that? You have the Four of Pentacles. Wow! <laughs> you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. My dear pal, number one, you are entering a chapter that is mind-blowing. I'm speechless at this point. <laughs> and you have the Empress. Where do we begin in this amazing journey pile number one gosh i need a second here to grasp all this beautiful energy for you and to tell you exactly what i see and to tell you the guidance because we have big energies here on what your higher self wants to tell you about uh, this next coming chapter What I see your 
higher self telling you pile number one is hello my dear self welcome to this next new chapter of your life i want to let you know that although this is a chapter that you will enjoy immensely a chapter that will almost feel like a fairy tale and a dream be careful pile number one with the buffalo, I see your higher self telling you, keep your eye on what is important, on the work that you need to do. The buffalo is a hard worker. Uh, very spiritual, but very hard working at the same time. Very caring. And that's what makes the buffalo energy so beautiful. The buffalo cares about what they're doing. And so very grounded as well as spiritual. So this is the sort of balance that your higher self is telling you. Your higher self is telling you, yes, please enjoy this beautiful journey. But do know that with all this power and all this glory comes a lot of responsibility. And so you may feel with the Ten of Wands that you have a lot to carry. Your advice here is to uh, organize yourself. Do you see that pile number one? Organize yourself, take a look at your big tasks and divide them into doable tasks that you can carry out on a daily basis. This way, you'll be able to continue living this beautiful life and doing what is necessary for you to continue to have it, uh, pile number one. No that this next chapter is full of happiness, full of wealth, full of stability, and full of excitement. So welcome to this new world. Enjoy it. Uh, I see your higher self telling you, perhaps now with the Four of Cups, you feel that you're not too happy with what's going on. You're kind of okay with it, but you're not very happy. But underneath it all, there's a lot of huge works happening for you energetically. And so keep, uh, out, keep your eye out on that and continue to do what you're doing. You're doing something right, uh, pile number one. Continue to do that. And with the Empress here under the Four of Cups, in conjunction to the Four of Cups, your message is very clear. Be creative in what you are doing. Keep your mind open to seeing what you're doing in a different way. Thinking of this sort of energy. How can you expand maybe what you're doing? How can you have bigger goals in what you are doing? Or maybe something different. Because this Empress energy is in conjunction with wealth, with the Ten of Cups here. This Empress energy, tapping into this energy now, will do amazing things for you in this next chapter of your life. And so, your higher self is guiding you to a lot of thought this day. Your higher self is kind of advising you to with the air as well it's the same thing maybe block out some time for with the lover's card with you to think of what you can do how you can expand on your dreams how can you reach them and to start getting in touch with them to take these dreams and start taking small steps towards them every day because your coming next chapter is a huge boom. Maybe you are looking towards applying in different jobs and you will land one that is amazing. Maybe you are thinking about doing creative work in your work, creative things in your work, new ideas that will result in you being promoted greatly. Of course, you're, each person listening to this pile has big different dreams. And so I'm just giving examples for you to help you tap into your energy. 
What are your dreams is what your higher self is asking you. You know what your dreams are. You know what you want. And if you know what you want, even if it's the result that you want, think in reverse. How can you achieve that? And what can you do today that will move you towards that dream? And what kind of small steps can you take every day that will little by little, but eventually and surely move you towards that dream that you want? Uh, pile number one. Your higher self is telling you you are moving into something big it's no time to doubt. It's no time to. Um, it's no time to sit and do nothing about it. It now is the time for work and not the time for rest. Time for work, not time for rest. And what you put your hands on today will be like a Midas touch. Will turn everything that you do into gold. So with the four of pentacles, I see your higher self telling you to come out of maybe rest mode or a, I don't want to say thinking mode because it's not the four of swords, but maybe keeping to yourself and not going after what you want exactly or keep being intimidated maybe by what you want, the bigger things that you want. It's no time to do that. It's actually time to get in touch with that energy. And you will see that you are going to boom. You're going to be a center of attention. You're going to be something that is celebrated maybe or something that is, that gives that wow. Um, yeah, that wow feeling here pile number one you're going to do something big so trust that thought trust that emotion trust that dream now is your guidance from your higher self uh, for the coming chapter in your life with this ten of cups here you see a birth of a child so we see your higher self telling you that by just envisioning it looking at it and taking it just a few steps, you'll find yourself amidst this energy, celebrating the fact that you've be begun this amazing journey that you wanted. And very quickly, this is going to escalate and turn into something that is amazing and more that you want. The time is now for you to start this journey of promotion, to start this uh, scaling up in your journey and your scale up is no small scale up you're going you know i just heard from rag to riches and i'm not saying you're in rags please please uh, don't uh, see it this way at all i'm just picking up on the energy of huge difference in something you're moving from level 10 to level 1000 a big leap a huge jump in the way that you live, in the way that you're doing maybe your job or your dreams or your ideas, expect a huge leap, a big step forward that will very quickly turn into wealth and great happiness, uh, pile number one. And that is the guidance and the news that I see from your higher self trying to guide you successfully and quickly into the new chapter of your life. So that was your reading pile number one. I'm wishing you all the best of luck from my heart. I hope you begin this beautiful journey very soon. I hope you heed the call. Please do. It's looking amazing for you, pile number one. Just make that beginning. Get into it, pile number one, and you will see such a domino effect of brilliant things, amazing things happening in your life. This is the energy that I see in your cards. Wishing you all the best of luck from my heart to yours. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you're uh, updated as soon as a video is up. 
And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number one. This book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But really, it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. You'll find that this book, book truly holds true to this promise. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And now there's also an audiobook if you love audiobooks as much as I do. And pile number one, it was a real pleasure taking this opportunity to do this reading for you. I am wishing you the best from my heart. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I know you're going to do great. Just take that step and you're going to see pile number one. And pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the uh, death card. Huge energies in today's reading. I was drawn to these big decks and big crystals. <laughs> so let's see what this is about. You've chosen the death card as well as the Lapido light. And together, I kind of feel it has to do with your spiritual journey with the Scorpio and the Lepidolite, of course. Let's see. Let's take a look at the rest of your cards and see what your higher self's guidance is on this next chapter in your life. So you have patience. All right, let me adjust that so you can see it. So you have patience. Perhaps you've been patient for so long and with the death card, things are drastically transforming. Let's see. You have the first quarter waxing earth moon with stability. Really cool. Okay. You have the rabbit. Oh, really cool. This is taking us in a cool direction. You have release and let go. Very interesting card. You almost don't know. Is this figure in a cage? Are they outside the cage? What is going on? Right? Okay. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the eight of cups. You have the five of pentacles you have the death card again whoa now that is significant and the death card coming in conjunction to the eight of cups and the five of pentacles you are moving away from stagnant energy uh, moving away from uh, energy maybe of either lack or feeling stuck because you don't know whether this person was inside and outside and it says release and let go so you're moving away from energy of um not having exactly what you want especially that you have the rabbit and the rabbit of course is a symbol of great wealth and a lot a huge uh, abundance big uh, type of abundance because it multiplies in birth it, uh, i mean uh, I mean, it uh, gives birth to many rabbits. So yeah, multiplication of wealth, huge wealth, as opposed to the five of pentacles uh, energy. Let's take a look at the rest. Of wow. Wow, you have the emperor. When we talk about big shifts and big transformations, that is for sure the energy here. You have... The Nine of Pentacles, wow. And you're walking away. So you're walking away from an era of your life where things are stagnant, where you feel stuck, where you may not have exactly what you want. And rather, you're moving towards the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a wish fulfillment card of making your dreams come true. Uh, be, ha, ha, be, okay, creating stability for yourself, especially that you have the emperor here and the emperor is very stable, powerful energy. You have the tower card. Perhaps you may be even uh, drawn to 
the tower uh, reading in pile number three, I haven't seen it yet, but it's kind of pointing towards it because it's right under it. You might want to check it out if you're drawn to it. But I would say from this reading, it seems like your whole life is changing. Perhaps this is like a window to the next reading. Who knows? We're going to see. You have the Ace of Pentacles. See? You're starting to hold on to big... It's a big coin. To big money, it seems, from uh, the reading here. From what we've seen in your reading. And you have the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Pages are a new chapter in your life, actually. Because you have from the Aces to the tens and then you have a new journey from the pages to the kings so we see that you see we we see here uh not midas uh medusa so when medusa looks at you uh, looks at anyone they turn into stone and stone is a symbol of stability so it's a new beginning that will keep you safe perhaps make you very very stable standing on your own two feet alone not needing anyone being very powerful and stable in your life uh, pile number two right so now that we've seen a, an amazing glimpse to that change that's happening in your life this huge transformation that is happening in your life your whole life is changing and you might want to check the tarot card because it's already showing us from this reading moving on to the next and they're right after each other. I will put this in mind as I read the tower that uh, old being broken down and a new life is being built for you. Believe me, pile number two. In your reading, this is showing that the life that you have lived all of these years is one thing. And what you're going to see in the second half of your life is a totally different thing. In fact, here we saw this figure and we weren't sure, was this figure inside the cage or outside the cage? And this is showing me that if you were stuck before, if there were dreams that you wanted to achieve but couldn't in this phase of your life, things are not just moving, but you're making all your dreams come true. Okay, back to the guidance of uh, your higher self on this phase. Release and let go. Your higher self is telling you, pile number two, that this next chapter, this, this amazing energy that you're seeing here, is about to begin, will commence, the second you release yourself from a certain energy, which I will talk about in one second. Okay, one second is here. <laughs> so let me say that first. It will happen the second you release your... See, with, with cages, maybe there is... I don't want to say closed mind. That's not the right word that I want to say. From closing up your mind... From an idea or from an act that can get you a lot of abundance. These ideas could be with release and let go. I cannot do that, maybe. Or it may not happen for me. Or how can I take on all of these things at the same time, perhaps. See, there's a net on the mind here. And you transform from that net and you rise above. See, the Ace of Pentacles is right under that death card. You open up your mind on a certain idea and you hold on to that coin. You open up your mind and you begin this journey. This new chapter will start the second you change your mind about something. That for you, for one reason or the other, um, is keeping you stagnant. Maybe you feel, uh, no, 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 I can't do that. Uh, in fact, you have a headscarf here. It's like you're, 
you're protecting your mind from any other ideas. And this, your higher self is telling, see, covered head. Your higher self is telling you that it's normal. We all resist change. We all get to, to protect ourselves. Our minds sometimes protect us from change because we don't know what's going to happen. We, if what we're doing is working, we'll continue to do the same thing we're doing. And sometimes is it is up to us to challenge these very thoughts that may be keeping us stagnant in our place. And opening up your mind to the fact that you can may begin this journey for you. Let me pull out your tarot cards, pile number two, and get more information here since this is the main advice towards all of that. Let's see what your higher self is guiding you to do exactly. I'm sure the more we get uh, ideas on what your higher self is saying with regards to that, you may understand more uh, and relate more to what you may not be noticing here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So... You have the three of wands, beginning something new, looking at it, navigating through it. You feel like this mermaid is like, I can do it. <laughs> I can move into that. Okay, so it has this energy of, yes, we can kind of energy. Knight of wands, again, same energy. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can do it. Yes, I can. You have the Temperance card. Yeah. The Judgment card. Wow, big energies. And you have the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so the Ace of Swords is get started. Get Started. Oh, yes. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords here is about clarity of thought. Instead of continuously thinking of why you can't do it, the Ace of Swords is here telling you to raise the way you think by opposite thoughts of how can I do it. This way you'll bring balance. With the balance, maybe pile number two, you already have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, that's why you have the Page of Swords, which is about being courageous. And I don't want to say naive action, but you know, when sometimes the reason they say ignorance is a bliss, although it's not, of course, but the reason they say ignorance is a bliss is sometimes when... You don't know all of the consequences that may happen, although it rarely, all of these consequences, rarely the bad consequences happen at the same time. But sometimes people are so courageous because they didn't know a lot about why things wouldn't work. And because they lacked this type of knowledge, you find them courageous, they take bold moves and they take big steps and they make it. <laughs> and a lot of them say, had I known all of the things that I know today, I probably wouldn't have all the, this amount of courage. But thank God I didn't know because I did it and it worked. And this is what I'm seeing your higher self telling you. Your higher self is here telling you it is going to work. It is going to work and it's going to bring you huge abundance and perhaps with all of the responsibilities that is already there your higher self is telling you you can you can handle both responsibilities or all responsibilities just think of how you can and not of how you cannot think of the idea that I'm going to do it anyway. So instead of wasting time thinking about why I shouldn't do it, let's now put in that effort and that brilliance into thinking about how I can do it and not how I can't. 
Do you notice how these two are falling in the tower card? You may really want to watch the tower pile. I know it's the last time I'm going to say it. I'm just telling you what I see straight away. These two are falling right under the tower card, signifying that you take that type of thought process at this point of your life. You change your life completely and you are the one who's going to decide when this new chapter is happening. Do note that the second you pick up the, your pen and paper and start planning for it, of how you can do it, do know, congratulate yourself, tell yourself, congratulations. As advised by my higher self, I have just begun the new chapter of my life, that abundant chapter. Congratulations to me. So this is what I see uh, with regards to the guidance from your higher self, um, pile number two. Huge shifts in your life. The old is out, the new is in. And boy, is your new amazing. A lot of abundance and, uh, and your dreams coming true. You feeling stable, safe, secure. It's just magnificent. So I wish you all the best of luck with this amazing energy pile number two. I'm so pumped up for you. <laughs> I, I wish I was with you and I would encourage you and I would tell you, come on, let's get this done now. <laughs> So consider me doing that. I hope you finish this video. Pick up your pen and paper. Just write down these new, these new ideas of how you can do it, please. And uh, I hope you heed this call from your higher self and congratulate yourself while at it that you've just begun your new chapter of your life. So pile number two, this was your reading. Wishing you all the best of luck from my heart. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this beautiful beginning in your life forever. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you're notified as soon as a video is uploaded. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number two. This book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But really, it can help you out during this amazing transformative time of your life. It ha can help you get organized and get this. Not only does it have all the key uh, advice and secrets, as I say every day, to becoming a productive person, but it teaches you how to do it while you enjoy this process. You will find pile number two that this book holds true to this promise. And uh, if you want to check it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And now, by the way, there's also an audiobook if you enjoy audiobooks as much as I do. And pile number two, wishing you all the best. May you have a wonderful future. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the tower and the beautiful sodalite point. To be honest with you, uh, in the third pile, there was a tower card lining up right with your tower. And I kind of got a glimpse at what your reading is going to be like. In fact, there may be with us already watching people, people watching from pile number three because it was so involved in your reading but uh, let's take a look at the rest of your cards and see what you have and what your higher self's guidance is on this next coming chapter of your life all right so you have security so if you were worried about the tower card you already have security <laughs> in your reading bold choice and you got great results because of it here you followed your intuition without being afraid i congratulate you for that you have the crescent waxing air moon with idea oh my god i really do encourage you to watch pile number three now security idea yeah obviously these two piles were meant to be together you might want to check it out if you're called to it uh, pile number three you have study to know yourself ah oh, my god i don't i'll hold my tongue right i won't say it again so study to know yourself right 
Wow, wow, you have the cosmic egg. This is a whole new world being built. This is for sure what I saw about the tower card. Okay, we'll talk about the cosmic egg in general. This is the story of the creation of the world from nothingness to everything. We'll get into that. So you can see that type of energy. Your whole world is changing, moving forward from, from now or in the next coming chapter of your life. And it's from nothing. Let me not, uh, let me wait until the right time. So you have the three of cups. You have the two of cups. Wow. You have the knight of swords. You have the page of wands uh, presented as the page of inspiration. So beautiful. Talk about ideas, right? Okay. So knight of swords, page of wands, two of swords. You have the five of cups. You have, whoa, the six of cups with pleasure. And you have the six of wands with victory. Wow. Have you been seeing by any chance a lot of sixes lately? Because you're getting into a new world full of success and happiness. Uh, pile number two. And when we say your world is transforming, first, I promise that's the last time I'm going to say, check pile number two. And second of all, let's talk about the idea of going from nothing to everything here. So from the cosmic egg, protagonist was born. This is the Orphic creation myth, right? And he was the first god to be born from this cosmic egg, which is known to be uh, the world egg. And uh, it was produced by both chaos and ether, right? From nothing. Pro uh, protagonist means uh, firstborn, and it was he, according to the myth, who created the world. So we see the idea that from nothing, um, and from chaos and nothing, which is the ether, from chaos and nothing, or what we think is nothing, right? Huge, ama amazing things were born. So this is what we see with the tower card. We see, oh, yes, idea is the ace of wands. And this is Keter. This is the first Sephiroth, the creation, which is the Orphic creation myth. Oh my God, my mind is blown. So, yeah, although this is air, I see that uh, with an idea that is born, right? With an idea that is born, pile number three, your whole world is changing. That's why I feel like pile two and pile three are really, um, I promised I wouldn't mention that, sorry. Okay, so from an idea, a whole new world is created for you. And that's why you have um, the tower card. Now, with this idea, it says, study to know yourself. Study to know yourself. Part of you will want to explore this idea and then you have another voice opposing this idea for some reason, maybe feeling like with the five of cups, maybe you lack the resources to do it. Maybe you lack time, resources, support, finances. Maybe you think you lack the creativity to do it. Maybe you just think, it, you, maybe there is the lack energy here with the Five of Cups that it's not going to happen to you. It, you can't do it. And your higher self is insisting that this is a time to push such thoughts away, such lacking thoughts away, because it's absolutely not true. 
this is the time where you're starting a new chapter in your life that will be full of security, pleasure, and success. To tap into this energy, we can clearly see it's it will depend on what side of your brain or the war in your brain will, will, will win. Which side will you let it succeed, is your higher self is telling you. Should you choose uh, the old ideas of not being able to, that you can't, your life will change as well. But it may not uh, go in the direction that you want necessarily. And following that other idea, the idea that is hitting your head, your life will change completely. And so we see with the Two of Swords that you are at a very important crossroad, not to be afraid and worry about it, but rather to calmly study it. So this reading is not meant to worry you at all. In fact, you have security here. Your higher self is telling you this is all meant to give you happiness, security, success, and victory. And this idea of lack, that it's not going to work, that you have to do something unless things are going to go well, is so not true. Your higher self is telling you that on the other side, you will really not only be enjoying what you're doing, but it's going to give you back so much. You'll find that your mind is exploding with ideas of what to do. You're being um, very psychic at that time. Yeah, oh my God, the sacral chakra is working, your crown chakra is working, and you're like blowing up with brilliant ideas that will change completely your life. It will create a new world for you, uh, pile number three. So please do not take this reading in any way as something that you should worry about at all. This is your higher self telling you, you know how, for example, how when a little beautiful kid has not tried how delicious a fruit tastes, like an apple, for example, and they've been hungry all day, they don't like most of the food, and the mother introduces uh, an apple, for example. And so the child is resisting this apple. They feel like uh, they don't want to go through the hassle of <clears throat> putting something in their mouth that they don't like, They're if they don't want to eat it, they don't want to swallow it, it's just a pain, it's a real pain. And their mothers are explaining to them you're you're gonna feel tired you're gonna lack energy and <clears throat> you have to eat something and not eating that apple and introducing yourself to other foods will eventually slowly but surely lead to a feeling tired lacking energy maybe even ill so try that apple i promise you you're gonna love it it's not going to turn out as tiresome and uh, horrible as you think just just try it how about that just try it no strings attached a little piece see how that works and the child takes a little bit eats it and goes oh, i don't like it i don't like it. and then after a few seconds goes oh my god this apple tastes so good <laughs> how was I not nibbling on this apple and suddenly <laughs> now this kid wants their mother to prepare a bowl of apples and they just want to crunch on that deliciousness <laughs> uh, all day long so this is the idea that we're seeing in this reading your higher self is telling you do not worry this is not at all meant to scare you don't worry it's not like your life is going to change all of a sudden it's going to be horrible no 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 no. if you don't take action not at all it's slow but it's go it might go in the direction that you don't want and so you're blessed with an idea here that will bring security in fact if you follow it a little bit just like the apple your mind is going to explode with brilliant ideas that are very unique to you. And they're unique because you are the one who's meant to be the creator to bring them out into the world. And so follow them. Pile number three. Knight of Swords is courageous. 
uh, energy. Follow these ideas with the Knight of Swords. Expand on them. Let them fly. Let them free. And see where they take you. You will find that you will fall in love with this journey. And you will fall in love with where these ideas are taking you to the extent where you're going to pop up from your place and go, you know what? I want to do, I want to do uh, this idea. This is brilliant. I feel back alive. Uh, I feel refreshed. I feel like this is the life that I want. So you're going to reach that level by entertaining this idea. In, and that's why it's study to know yourself. Give yourself the time to go after it like the rabbit going down the rabbit hole. Just how about you give it a, a space to breathe and let free for the sake of it. And let's see where it takes you, where this idea is taking you. Let it roam and brim and go bigger and you will be amazed. You'll pop into action like popcorn, really thinking, wow, I love this idea. Why didn't I give the, myself the chance to just explore it? And this idea will be like the cosmic egg to you, as you can see in this reading. It will pop out a new complete world to you. And as you can see, you're on a crossroad now. Going into this direction, not only are you going to feel secure and safe and warm with passion filling your heart, but you're going to end up very, feeling very happy and being very successful, being in command of this success, uh, pile number three. In fact, building on this idea, did you know that in the tower card, there are two figures? One of them realizes that things need to be changed or things are changing or needs change and they jump out of their tower, out of the tower with their own free will because they uh, jumped on the opportunity, uh, kept their minds open and decided to jump out of this dying tower and go towards something better. And on the other figure, there is a figure who was holding too tight on what they have, afraid of change. And so they kept waiting until the tower cracked and pushed them out. So these are the ideas that we're seeing in your reading. Things are going to change, albeit not maybe at the same time and the same speed. Uh, maybe staying in the tower will the tower will stay intact for a while, for a long while, but eventually it may not lead to where you want. It doesn't need to be like your whole life changing, but it may be, you may, you may feel like you're feeling sad and slowly maybe dying on the inside or not doing what something else that you wanted or having these dreams that you wanted. Who knows how it is like, but one thing is for sure. The other figure chose to jump, take that risk to entertain that idea. And do know that you're at a crossroad and this new chapter is going to begin as per the road that you take, the path that you choose. And how will you know that this, that you aren't going to reach something amazing that you will love, that is easy to apply? If you don't take the risk of just allowing this idea to brim and rise. Pile number three. Yeah, let's get some more guidance on from your higher self on how your higher self can help you in terms of what to begin with. What should you start doing? One, what should you start doing exactly? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You have C, night and paper. Write it down. Pile number threes, you know this, right? <laughs> so knight of pentacles. The moon. Mm. The tower. 
king of cups oh my god the supernatural world just is really communicating with us so i see your higher self telling you to it doesn't matter where you start start off by writing how you want your life to be what it is if you had the chance you know this dharma question if you didn't worry about security or anything in life what would you be doing or another question what would be a better thing at this stage of your life how can you improve and expand on what you have in life and from this goal start thinking of how you can expand and achieve what it is that you want take the time to plan and with the moon let these plans roam take the time to maybe have a walk with a pen and notepad and write down everything you come up with walk think about it and then come back writing or maybe you like to sit down light a candle and think about it and write down your goals and how you want to achieve it and let these ideas free let them roam in the beginning you may not know how am i gonna do this just let it free think about give yourself that block space where you're doing nothing but that for you for your dreams for your future and think about it these are my goals how can i achieve them think about it write down 20 ways you can achieve this goal and you know i once heard brian tracy saying um at the seventh or eighth way if you're writing ways to do things after these you're like i can't find any more ideas discipline yourself to continue thinking of ideas because you'll find that by pushing yourself to think of more ways to do something that by the 15th or sometimes the 19th idea you found a brilliant idea that can help you achieve this so just give yourself the time to think about it to force yourself like a task to think of different ways you can achieve this and you will find brilliant ideas that you can achieve something and and this is how you create something from nothing from these ideas your mind is going to expand once you find that one trail of thought your your ideas are going to expand oh yes and i can do this and i can do that and oh, and it all comes like a domino do 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 um yeah, I know I promised I won't say check pile number two, but really, <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's very close to the message of pile number two, and I feel like they were meant to come together with the tower card appearing right under. There was this very card up uh, under yours, falling in the same place now. So, yeah, you might want to check it out. So, yes, just let it roam with the moon. Let the ideas take you and you'll find, bam, that one idea that is going to change your life. You'll feel now with the King of Cups, you have something in your hands that you are very proud of, that you're ready to begin. You're ready to embark on a new journey and it's going to create amazing things that you will love, causing security, pleasure and love and victory. And that is your reading, my dear pile number three. Such amazing readings today with pile number two and three. I wish you all the best of luck from my heart. I hope you heed the call. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed uh, your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number three. This book could really help you out in this journey. It's small, straight to the point, And so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But really, it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away all while enjoying this process and if you'd like to check it out you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box and now there's also an audiobook if you love audiobooks like me 
pal number three wishing you all the best of luck from my heart may you succeed and blow up with ideas always you see it's the same thing an egg of ideas here i wish you all the best of luck hope you heed the call <laughs> and i'll catch you in the next reading bye hi pile number four welcome to your reading you have chosen the six of cups interesting card really i kind of feel already with the six of cups it is one of the meanings that your higher self is presenting a great gift to you in today's reading so let's see what this is uh, Obviously, it's important guidance for you if you were drawn to this pile. You were also drawn to the ruby and zyocyte point. So let's keep it right there. And let's take a look. In fact, why don't we just keep it right there, right? So you can see it. And let's take a look at your cards. So you have, you have the disseminating waning earth moon with responsibility okay all the greens here you have uh, how about we check this one first wow <laughs> talk about the gift they're giving you great news here you have pleasure let me adjust that sorry isn't this a gorgeous card you're entering a new beautiful chapter uh, of your life. Whoa. Okay. You have asked for help. And I kind of see it's the reflection of this person from your higher self signifying there is an important message that your higher self really wishes you can hear today. Right. So we see the significance of that. And the reason for that is that you're about to enter something big. As big and enjoyable as it is with the pleasure card. As much of a responsibility as it is. You have the bear. So with the bear, it instantly reminds me of hibernation. So maybe there was some sort of pause in your life. Or maybe your life was very consistent with the same type of momentum consistent momentum and um you're about to come out to see the world to see something beautiful you have the six of wands the six of wands in today's reading wow <laughs> i i think if i'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken, I think the Six of Wands came up in the Four Piles. So we see a lot of victorious energy for all of you guys in general. You have the King of Wands. You have the Tower card. And the Tower came up in most readings. So we see... Yes, you're coming out of hibernation and your world is changing. But you see how this figure is standing up strong despite all of these changes. And so we see that your life, the changes aren't harming you in any way. In fact, they're just changing your life to the better, breaking down the barriers between you and your goals or the things that you want or the amazing things that you're about to experience because it's really right next to the King of Wands. You're breaking down uh, or around you are broke. Things are breaking down so that you get the access to a lot of enjoyable energy. You see people listening to music, having fun, enjoying their lives. So you're in that process of things changes around things changing around you that will help you to uh, achieve great success and uh, an enjoyable life. In fact, you have pleasure here as your one of your main cards. Okay. You have strength and boy. 
when we talk about strength, you're presented here as super powerful. Okay. You have the five of pentacles. We used so many decks for the four cards and some of them just keep repeating. Maybe a lot of you chose today to watch the four piles. I'm not sure. You have the Nine of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So we have the Hebrew letter Lamed, and means ox goat you know where you're plowing something to put in the seeds maybe we'll see well, the reading will show us now so what is your higher self telling you exactly Now I understand this hibernation card. So, in fact, with the bear, now I understand there are two sides to you. A side that is very peaceful with the hibernation. You would rather be in peace. But you are also very strong and you can have the tendency to attack when things aren't right. So we see here, your higher self is telling you that you are entering a phase of your life that is full of success, full of not just blessings, but you're going to live some sort of luxurious life that is going to open up a lot of doors for you that will help you have fun in so many ways that the your surrounding may not be able to keep up with why you will have some people creating some noise trying to bother you they won't be able to reach you because with the nine of swords this mermaid is just screeching and creating noise they're not going to harm this scientist tenting up there but the screeching noise are bothering her it's just some noise that will end towards the late night but we see that a lot of people are not going to be able to handle that type of pleasurable life that you will be living that type of success that you will be living you will have people that don't want to see or or realize maybe because of their lack mentality that you have all of this maybe wealth or all all of this to give Sometimes you'll find that you want to help others and they cannot bear, they hate you for it, for example. So yeah, you will find that your surrounding is not going to be able to bear. Bear, yes, oh wow. The sort of wealth and pleasure that you're about to enter into. Now, since you are a peaceful person, someone who soul is very clean that's why you see reflection clear reflection in fact you have the goddess ma'at here in the justice card and the goddess ma'at in the afterworld uh, measures your heart against the feather and if your heart is clear and clean uh, it's so light it's not carrying heavy energy where it's lighter than a feather and so if the feather is heavier uh, you get into the pleasure of the afterlife and we see that your light I, i'll tell you what i see also with the justice card but let's first go back to what i'm seeing uh, you are 
you're you seem to be a, a pure soul or a beautiful soul and your higher self is just letting you know that with all of this pleasure there will come responsibilities there will come new things that you have to deal with these will be rough energies of people not too happy be careful with the newfound success and wealth and may try to bother you here and there and your higher self is telling you do note that as long as you're always standing there strong not worrying mentally about this nothing can happen these people will just be creating uh, noises and they will dissipate in the background do know that a lot of people need to heal um, we are all on a spiritual journey do not judge them do not hate them and do not also give them the mind um, the mind space to let what they're dealing with bring you down as well it's their journey keep yourself strong because you are on a journey on this journey for a reason and so with the justice card here we see karma do not worry you are going to be in a very strong position you're a beautiful soul and you have your karma to carry you pile number four so stand there strong protect your boundaries and do not let anyone put you down. And that's why you have with all of this great happiness and success, some responsibilities. There are new skills that you need to learn to continue to be strong. Don't let things hit you mentally. See, it's all on the head nearly. Um, don't let things hit you mentally quickly. Do know that with great success and happiness, new responsibilities comes new responsibilities or rather in your case, new learnings. Uh, pile number four, keep your heart as light as the feather of Ma'at and um, wish everyone the best. But also be careful about protecting yourself at the same time you too matter uh, pile number four you too matter and you're on that spiritual journey obviously you've went really far with your spiritual journey very far and you're about to enter some sort of heaven here uh, on earth protect your aura protect yourself and the way to do it is to protect yourself mentally pile number four So keep your peace, keep your peace, but don't let your energy just go. Also have strength as the bear. Don't hibernate too much in your beautiful spiritual world. Also be grounded and be strong. Don't let, um, don't let attacks hit you psychologically or mentally in any way. And I'm going to pick up your cards and get further guidance for you from your higher self to get more details of what your advice to do exactly in terms of your energy and to keep strong. Pile number four. Oh, you have five cards. Okay. So you have the seven of pentacles. Okay. And... You have, wow, the Eight of Wands. I see. Okay. Okay. You have the Six of Swords. You have the King of Pentacles. And you have the Knight of Swords. Mm. so first off we can see here with the seven of pentacles what's coming up for you with the seven of pentacles is going to happen all of a sudden with the seven of pentacles maybe you're working on something with this birth 
something is in your tummy, meaning something you're, you're already working on so, towards something. Eight of Wands shows that in an instant, in a blink of an eye, poof, things are blowing up for you. Your life's changing to great success. And so you're advised here, despite the fact that you might have a lot of blessings and a lot of wealth, take it slow. Don't maybe show all this joy and success and entertainment all at once. Take it slow with the people around you maybe. Show slowly, tread slowly with how it shows uh, on you is the advice that I see here. And at the same time, you have the Knight of Swords. Don't also, uh, on the other hand, as you go slow, don't be too shy either. Don't be too uh, apologetic. You didn't do anything wrong. Don't do, don't be, uh, don't uh, bring yourself down. Stand up strong. Be proud of what you've created. You are the one who's created all this amazing success after all. So be proud of it, but at the same time, be very humbling in the way you present it. Uh, slowly but surely is the right way to deal with this type of huge energy that is coming up. I don't know what's coming up for you, but what I see in your energy pile number four, you have something blowing. You have something of great success. Do you want me to help you out with the seven of pentacles and see what this is? Maybe this is something you're working on. Or is it something that's coming up slowly for you? Let's see. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you're dabbling into it. The Seven of Swords, you're not really sure. Yeah, you're birthing it. You might uh, be working on it. You might be already doing well some way or the other. Or that it's promising, very promising. But with the Seven of Swords in the beginning, you're not... See, they're testing the swords out. They don't know what it is. They're still not sure what they've discovered. So you may be in the phase of discovering things, dabbling with this energy um, and trying it out, working on it, knowing that it's very promising. Okay. Uh, in your near future, the next chapter of your life, whatever it is that you are birthing here, that you're working on, it's going to boom and it's going to create great success and great happiness uh, for you. Uh, and for your life, there is this idea of living in heaven. Maybe you'll live in heaven because not just because of the finances, which you will enjoy immensely with the king of pentacles. And it came up again, king of pentacles. Yeah. But it's also obviously you're enjoying this. You're enjoying what you're doing. You're enjoying this new life. So... Pile number, yeah, that's why you had the Lamed, which we noticed in the beginning. You are planting something. You're doing something now. Yes, so this is confirmed. Had to pay attention to that. I forgot that from the beginning. So pile number four, wishing you all the best of luck from my heart. May you have a beautiful world. My dear, beautiful soul. I know I'm blessed with beautiful people like you on this channel. I'm thankful <laughs> that I have beautiful souls like you. It's the biggest blessing of my life. So pile number four, may you be blessed. May you have a beautiful future. And that was your reading. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number four. This book is small straight to the point and so you won't procrastinate or even waste time reading it but really you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away all while enjoying this process i'm sure you'll enjoy this book it'll walk you through how to do it in an easy simple way 
and it'll help you fall in love with productivity and being a productive person. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And by the way, there's also now an audiobook. If you love audiobooks, that's also an option. Pile number four, wishing you all the best of luck in your journey from my heart to mine. May you be blessed from this reading onwards for the rest of your life. That was your reading and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.